Hello there. What's going on, everybody? I'm coming back at you today with another Legion video. We're going to be talking a little bit about some of the Shadow Collective implications, specifically for the Empire and its bounty hunters. If you guys are new here to the channel, there's still time left to enter to win that $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. So, Basically, what I'm talking about today, Boba Fett and Bosk are both going to become mercs. We learned this over mini Stravaganza. They're going to be kind of leaving the Empire. Well, maybe not necessarily leaving the Empire, but they're going to have new cards available for the merc. Uh, I, I, don't wanna, I don't know if I want to call it a faction, but they're going to have merc cards available. And this means that they can potentially go into other factions. They can potentially also go in with mercs, like in the, some of the battle forces, like the Shadow Collective. And, uh, and they can basically, they're not strictly beholden to only the Empire. And I think this is a kind of a cool thing that can happen, and it's a great way to have bounty hunters kind of be able to be hired by a faction to go collect on a bounty. Uh, it allows for maybe separatists to get their bounty hunters while the Empire gets their bounty hunters. Who knows, maybe the Republic or the, the Rebels might even be able to get bounty hunters uh, at some point. We do know in the Clone Wars, there was some good guy bounty hunters also. Right, so so the, all this stuff is definitely possible, and it's kind it's kind of cool. But but at the end of the day, you know, the the Empire's operatives, well, most of them, aren't going to really be quite so exclusive to the Empire anymore. And other factions don't really have this much of a problem. Separatists have it to a smaller extent uh, because you know Cad Bane is only, they're only losing one guy, and and, and I say losing loosely because I, I'm pretty sure Cad Bane will still be able to work with the Separatists when all is said and done. Um, they're getting basically a, a new Merc card. <clears throat> so what does this really mean, right? Um, I think at the end of the day, the takeaway is going to be for the Empire that their operative slot feels a little light, right? Especially in the case of the Empire, because who's the other operative available for the Empire? It's OP Vader, like maybe the worst character in the game. I mean, of course, that's just my opinion, especially... Like, I never liked OP Vader anyway. It was kind of cool that he could spur, and that's that's kind of cool. But he also loses Fearless. He also loses a red die in his attack. Uh, he gains a training slot, but usually you swap that out for something like Hunter to make up for the loss of the red die, so the training slot ends up being a wash. And, uh, you know, like, and, and the cool thing about OP Vader is he came with these cool command cards, but you can use those with Commander Vader. And, by the way, Commander Vader just got a million buffs and is now the most OP character in the universe. So, like, I don't need, unless OP Vader is getting, like, major, major, uh, major love. Major love. Major love. Reporting for duty. <laughs> How I Met Your Mother reference. Okay, um... Unless OP Vader's also getting a crazy amount of buffage, which I, I just don't see anybody topping the new imp improved Commander Vader, um, I think the, the, the Empire's just we're really not going to have any, you know, uh, Imperial operatives. So, so what, what can we do, right? What would, what, would, what would be the most likely thing to fill that gap? And I think that's one of the things we're going to talk about here, because, of course, they're still going to be able to use Boba and Bosk, uh, but I don't think, like, new bounty hunters that come out are going to go into the Imperial faction. I mean, even if they do a Dr. Afra, right, who is always teaming up with Vader, and you've got BT and Triple Zero. I mean, Dr. Afra, fan favorite, like one of the most successful comic book characters uh, and, and well-received comic book characters. She's like the, the Star Wars version of Indiana Jones. She's super cool. And she's got these killer droids, too, and they just, it's, it's awesome. I'm sure they'll do Dr. Afra at some point. But even if Dr. Afra shows up, I, don't, I think they'll just make they'll just make her a merc, right? Like this, this makes no sense for her to be an imperial when they're do making all the other bounty hunters mercs. So, <clears throat> what are they going to do in the future? Here's what here here is what I think. Well, I think the first, the thing that comes to my mind that comes to a lot of people's mind is well, what would be an imperial kind of named recognizable? I'll say hero character, but I don't necessarily mean heroic. I just mean hero character like they're you know they're infamous, right? Um, Inquisitors seem like the most likely thing. They, you don't necessarily, they don't necessarily have to be leading an army. They have to be kind of out there doing their own thing. And, uh, and I think Inquisitors are the, the perfect solution to come in and fill that gap and, and give the Empire its, you know, its, its operatives back, for lack of a better term. Now, I, I'm not saying that they're completely losing their operatives, but it kind of feels like that a little bit, don't you think? 
let me let me know in the comments if you if you agree or or disagree. Um, because I again, I they're still going to have access to Boba, but I think the Separatists might also, and I think I think the Separatists might also have access to Bosk, and and so then it just becomes a shared thing. And you're like, well, if I'm doing that, why don't I just get the cheap core and 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 run Separatists instead? If I just want to run Bounty Hunter, right? And and and, and if you're running Bounty Hunter for Bounty, you know, Field Commanders is a thing now. If I just run a Field Commander and and no, you know, and and no unique characters, your bounty strategy goes straight out the window because you got no no options for it, you know. So I thought that that's pretty cool, also. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm like I'm all over the place in this one, right? But that's okay. We're having fun. So, so, so Inquisitors definitely. There's a lot of recognizable Inquisitors from video games, from Star Wars Rebels, from comics. They're all over the place, and some of them are very very cool. I especially like the Inquisitors we uh, fought in Jedi Fallen Order. Um, I mean, obviously the first ones that come to mind are from Star Wars Rebels, right? But but Fallen Order had some really great Inquisitors also. So so I, I, like, I'm excited about Inquisitors. I, I'd love to see stuff like that. Um, but at that point, is the Empire's operatives going to be exclusively red lightsaber-wielding Force characters, right? Like, is it exclusively, you know, Dark Jedi for the Empire's operatives and and while that sounds cool should it be that pigeonholes where that's the only thing available so what else could we do beyond inquisitors right uh and i'm building up to something here because i do have an idea but i still want to see what you guys think so let me know before you get to the end of the video if you can guess where i might be going with this because i feel like we've had some missed opportunities missed opportunities already because i thought isb would be perfect right so somebody like agent callus would have been the perfect operative. You know, I get it, I get it, I get it. He can deploy and become an operative. Okay, that's great. So can Iden Versio, she can, but they're commanders, right? The commanders that can deploy as an operative, which means you couldn't run Vader and, or, or like or like Veers and, and, and Vader and then two operatives, right? If you wanted to run, you know, Callus or something like that, because you're restricted in that sense too. So you have to, you know, and, and maybe and maybe some of those characters, maybe characters like Iden Versio and Agent Callus, need a new card where they just run strictly as an operative. And that would be actually, I think that'd be a kind of a fun thing to do at some point. But more importantly than just redoing old characters, I or, you know I, I want to see new characters show up in the game. So um, so you know, it, it, it leaves me with some ISB potential where I'm thinking about well, what about Wolfie Lauren? You know, or is he a little too old to be really? Sneaking around the battlefield operative style. Well, maybe. I mean, then again, could represent a whole different type of operative. Maybe he's the operative that wants to stay in the back. Most of the operatives that we run into are people that either want to be like assassins, um, you know, like like killing you from sneaky to kill you, or or straight up melee assassins like Darth Maul, or or sneaky like R two D two, right? And I guess you kind of have Padme, who's kind of a her own. So, so Padme kind of is like a different type of assassin where she's a support assassin, uh, or not an assassin, but a support operative. Well, maybe, maybe Wolfie Lauren could be a support af operative, feeding, you know, the, maybe he beefs the commander up with intel. Maybe putting Wolfie Lauren out there suddenly feeds Vader some vital intel and allows Vader, um, you know, to, to do something cool, to get some free tokens, or maybe to, to get a, a free move action at the end of the phase, or something like that, you know, who knows? You know, like, but I think that's a cool idea, a support operative for, 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 the, uh, for the Empire. Um, and, and if we got into Legends, I feel like there's a lot more of the standard kind of assassin type of uh, stuff like Kir Kanas or Karn or Jax, I feel like they would make really cool operatives. Or Mara Jade herself, honestly. Mara Jade would be perfect, but then again, it's still a lightsaber wielder. Now, if we, we back off from Legends just a little bit, and I say only a little bit because I want to introduce you to hear my, 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 my big theory, which would be, I think, would be a fantastic operative, or even two, and we're going to introduce Grand Admiral Thrawn. Now, no, I don't mean for Grand Admiral Thrawn to become an operative in the Star Wars Legion, but where I'm going with this is since Thrawn has come back into books, and by the way, the Thrawn books are fantastic. We got another one coming out next month. The finale, oh, I'm so excited for it. But Thrawn has given us some great operatives. Not himself, he was obviously gonna be a commander. But what about Rook, right? His little assassin, the Nogri. 
Rook is the perfect operative for the Empire. We only see him working for the Empire. And Eli Vanto, another option. Eli Vanto is his little buddy, not really taking command of a whole bunch of stuff, but he's definitely an operative, right? It could work that way. Let me know what you think. Uh, that's some of my thoughts, but uh, I guess we're going to have to wait and see, and I, I can't wait to see what's next. I'm really, I'm still hoping for Inquisitors, but, but I don't want it to only ever be Inquisitors from this point forward. I hope they can, you know, change it up a little bit. That's all I've got for now. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Big thanks to my patrons. You guys help make this channel possible. So thank you for your continued support. And as always, if you're going jogging, make sure you wear some clothes because otherwise people might start chasing you for all the wrong reasons.